Have you got a sweet tooth? Get ready to build your own candy shop. I'm super happy with this design. I love all the cute lollipops, candy canes, and adorable windows. Look at the spinning lollipops. It is also a treat box. We could carry all the sweets we love in this candy shop favor box. For this project, we need medium to heavy weight cast dark. Here I use case card. And we also need estate sheet. Here I use Quicker brand. Phone dots, double side tapes. Some sequins, they are optional. Here are the glue I use in this video. For cardstock, I use this one. For estate sheets, I found this glue stick be better. The download link is in the video description below. There are three Studio 3 files and three SVG files. For Cameo user, find the files content .studio3. For quicker, download the three files with .svg in the file names. Upload the first file accessories SVG into Design Space. The files are saved in number order, so the first one is 001. There are a lot of elements in this file. I try to use three, four colors to make different combination. This way we could save some paper. So we're going to right click and group. We're going to set the score line. Those are the elements that we don't need score line, but here, the We're going to group them together. Well, I don't know why when you import the files into Design Space, sometimes they just go to different places. Anyway, we don't need to worry about all these elements. They are ready to cut and set as this one. Here are the bit that we need to set the score lines. So we'll start from the top. If you click one object, you go to the right hand side panel. You can see that there are two layers being selected. The top one is the one we need to change the score line. Go to the top, change the score, and click the item again. Both layers are selected and click attach. Same as this one. Click and attach and the window here we need to change the score lines as well. Go to the top, scroll, click again and attach. This one is the asset sheet for the front window, so we will need to scroll it as well. Change and attach. And don't forget those two, they are the roof decorative panels. Click the top one, go to the top, scroll. Click again and attach. Now we have done all the score lines. We need to duplicate some of the elements. This is one set of window. We will need two set. Right click, duplicate. Bring it down. So the windows are done. Move it aside. And this is the gear. This this element is the most important part in this project. We will need six of them. So just select that gear, right click, duplicate. We have two now. Select both, duplicate again. So we have four now and right click, duplicate again. So we have total six gears. And those two are the spaces for the lollipop in the middle. The short one is for the middle one, the biggest lollipop. And the longer one for the side, the two smaller lollipops. Therefore, we need two of them. Click the longer one, right click and duplicate. And that's all we need for the accessory. For the gray elements here, this is the estate sheet for the front window. And those two here, they are also SN sheets, but they are for the side windows. So when we cut, we just need to set the material as ST sheets for those three elements. So they are all set now, we just need to continue, click make it to continue. 
So the first page and the second page are white. And page three, they have estate sheets. So don't forget to, when it's come to page three, don't forget to change your material to estate sheets. Page four, five, they're all color coded. Six and seven. Number, page 7 and 8, I'm pretty sure we can squeeze in one page. So I'm just going to move around the objects to fit. Page A, I'm going to move down. Move down first. Object to page 7. Here, yeah, we fit one page for the hot pink color. Double check again. So the cutting is pretty straightforward. They are all color coded except the page three are the essay sheets. If you are going to cut from page one, don't forget to click back to page one. That way they will start cutting from page one. I'm going to click continue to cut. So set up my material. I'm going to install the scoring wheel in the clamp B and cut. There are a lot of details in this project. It is a good idea to clean your blade before cutting. Otherwise, you might end up like this. There are a lot of details in this project, so we we'll peel off all the cutouts from the cutting mat. Just do it slowly. Especially for the lollipop, the middle bit is really small, so don't rush your don't rush here, take your time to peel and off the cutting mat. Keep all the smaller elements in a container so we don't lose them. Compare of the gears, they are connected by very very small parts, so just take your time as well. Very slowly peel the whole gear stripes off. Ta da! <laughs> Continue the rest. One and two are finished cutting now. Next one is page three, the estate sheets. So we're going to change the material here. At the moment, the cell is medium cardstock. Click here, click estate. Then load the estate sheet material to quicker. Now the estate sheet is done as well. We need to change the setting back to cardstock. Estate sheets finished cutting. We are going to cut page four next. So click here again, change material back to medium cardstock and continue to cut. Here are all the cutouts for the first file. There are a lot of elements including three pieces for estate sheet. We don't need them just yet. So, so we are going to assemble those gears first and also the spacer, the window, and of course all the lollipops and candy canes. The key to make this project work is to use the thickness of the cardstock. That's why it's very important to use medium to heavyweight cardstock. So one strip of gear, one strip of the gear here. We have one strip of gear, it will end up like this. And for each gear, we are going to use two strips of gear stacked together like this. So we use the thickness of the cardstock to make this project work. We are going to fold it like an accordion. So for the gear and the spacer, we'll fold it like this. Grab a piece of gear. You can see there are folding lines in between where they connected. Fold it like accordion. And it's very important to align each gear piece.
fold them first and adjust them together adjust where the folding is a fold is like an accordion apply glue on every second gear stick two together flip it over apply glue here and stick those two together flipped again glue it and flip over and glue the next piece on this part is very time consuming but it is the most important part of the whole project here we have the first gear finished so continue the rest of that All the six gears are down, just need to stack two together, like this. Align the middle circle and all the teeth properly. That's one down. Three of them now, plan aside, get the three spaces, for all the spaces like accordion. So it should look like this. Go all together, align the middle square. Now one space is done, continue the other one and the shorter spacer. The three spacers are done. Two thicker one and one is a bit slightly thinner than the other two. Get other small elements. We are going to assemble the lollipops and candy cane together. Find the three bigger pieces. They are for the middle one. So if you find the three big circle and find the matching, find find the three big circle, find the three bigger circles and find the matching lollipop swirl. and let's fold the lollipop later so. so we're going to find the matching we're going to find the matching elements So I got two purple and that's not right. I'm going to find what's going on. Oh, yeah, purple one with the yellow and the white one go to the purple. For smaller one, I'm going to glue them together. For the three big one, I'm going to put phone dots at the back to give them a little bit 3D effect.
I put foam dots at the back of the swirl just to attach them to the color circles. Looking cute. I glue all the smaller lollipops and candy canes. Blend aside, we'll use the later. Get the window frame. So next we are going to make the window. These are the elements for the windows. The yellow is the background and two ST sheets. So we will fold the window frame. We will fold those two windows like an accordion. Have this one at the first. This window with a cross in the middle will be right on the top of the window. And for the rest, like accordion. So open it up. Glue an aster sheet behind the first window frame. Glue an aster sheet behind the, this one. Apply glue on this side easier than apply glue on the excess sheet. Align the frame wheel. Continue to glue all the frames together. Be careful the glue, don't let glue get on excess sheets. to glue the yellow at the back. It's optional if you want to put some sequins in. So I'm going to put some sequins in here. it's over, give it a good press. Next, apply the white frame on, align the inside of the window frame here. same step to make the second window. Here are all the elements that we have assembled for the first file accessory. What left in these files are four circles with squares in the middle and three sticks, one big ester sheet and decorative panels for the roof later. So we'll carry on to cut the second file. Move on to the second file, 002 inside SVG. Upload this file into the design space. Right click, ungroup. We'll change all the score lines first. Click one object, click the top layer, go to the top and change to score. Click the whole item again, both layers are selected and click attach. Same as the rest. Three pieces here, change the score lines for those three pieces as well. Click again and attach. Now we can see all the elements are here. Those two pieces for making an inside box. The box is for putting a treat. And these two pieces will go together. 
Those three pieces are the handles for the gear. We will need three of these pieces. So click this piece. We will need three of these pieces. Click this piece. Right click. Duplicate. Du right click. Duplicate again. So we have three of it. And all looking good. Click make it to continue. One, two, three pages. Click continue to cut. Here are all the cutouts for the second file inside and this piece will go here and those two pieces are for the box in the candy shop and here are the elements for making the gear work or we'll glue those handle first for all the folding lines for the tap to all you Same as other two. Same as the other two, all the folding lines. Fold an hour first and then fold it inward. Probably a good idea to wait for the glue is dry first. Longer one. This long one is the one that we're going to use to turn the gears. If you look at the ends, one end is glue tabs and one end we are going to seal it later. So pull this end backwards. So later I will seal the end like this. And this end, this end they are the glue tabs. So pull them toward you like this. We are going to seal the two ends together first. Those small elements are done. They should look like this. Okay, this piece you will see those circle marks. They are not glue lines. They are for position the lollipop later. We're going to glue those lollipop stick on first. So get those three sticks from file number one and glue them on. The straight end is the bottom, so we can, if you see, that's the shortest one, and the curve ends to the top, and straight end to the bottom. Just glue them on. We'll glue this piece on this one because this is the piece that have the contact with all the gear. So I like to have two layers to make the structure stronger. For all the folding lines toward you. Pull those two tabs backwards. So what we are going to do is we are going to the top and the bottom like a cover, like this. So we will glue the top and bottom like this and those two will forward, fall backward as a glue tabs. And then this piece will go to the needle, glue together. What we are going to do before we glue together is we're going to apply double side tape. What we're going to do is 
put double side tape here, here and here. But don't peel the double side tape here and also double side tape here and here. Have this piece facing you, put the double side tapes and the two glue tabs on both sides. Fold the top and bottom panel down. Put double side tape here, here. Avoid the glue tabs. Don't peel the backing of the double side tape yet. We're going to glue them together first, like this. We're going to glue this piece on. Align all the circles. Glue the top and bottom box area like this. Same as the top here. Now the most important part, we are going to attach all the three gears. Get the three gears. We are going to pull it at the back. Flip it over, put it at the back. And then get this slip little tube go through. So get a gear, align the circle, and put through the little tube in between. Put it through. Once you got through, get one of this piece. Put it on. Then fold down all the glue tabs. Use glue to secure all the glue tabs. Pull the bits over. I bend those top and the bottom back with the bits. Give it a good press from the other side. So this side look like this. Pull it over. Give it a good press. And same as the glue tabs here, fold down the glue tabs and secure the glue tabs. Now we have attached our first gear. We'll continue to attach the second one. Align the circle in the middle. Grab another tube. Go through the circle in the middle. Oopsie. <laughs> I drop it. Anyway, do it again. Pull it through. Gently pull it from the other side. Don't pull it too hard. We don't want to break the tube. Yep, it's over now. Grab another circle with square in the middle. Pull it through. Check the back is okay. Yeah, the back teeth matching okay. And then pull down the glue tabs. We're going to glue then. Pull it over. Give it a good press on this side. Secure glue tab on this side. Two gears down. Last one. After installing all the gears, Spin them a bit to loosen them up. So the back should look like this and the front should look like this. The first few times you, we might have to loosen up a bit to make it work smoothly later. So it's looking good. Now we are going to do a very tricky part. 
Look at the front. This one is the lowest lollipop on the right hand side. Get the longest tube here. We are going to put the longest tube into this square here. So if you look at the longest tube, one side got glue tabs and one side we could seal it. One side look like this. We are going to seal it later on. We are going to put through the glue tab side through the square here. So put through this one, the lowest lollipop one. So this is the back. Grab the glue tab side, go through the square here. Be careful not to bend the be careful not to bend this tube because this tube will be the one to control all the gears. So handle very carefully, just push it through gently. Now we push it through now and bend down all the glue tabs. I think we need this side we need a bit more. I'm gonna push it a bit more. Yep. Bend down all the glue tabs like this and secure them. And flip it, give it a good press from the other side. So the back should look like this and the front should look like this. The last circle we square in the middle, we'll use it to cover this one. So we'll match the square in the middle and cover. Turn over and give it a good press from the other side. We are going to seal the back of the long tube. So this tube is the one that control all the gears. When handle it, be very careful. Do not bend or squeeze the tube at all. So if we turn over now, you can see when you turn it. Yeah, it's working. We're going to put the three spacer. We have the three spacers from earlier. If you look at the thickness, there are two thickness. The thinner one go to the middle, so match the square in the middle. Give it a press from the other side. And the other two go to the two other lollipops. Accuracy is very important for this project. Make sure we align properly and check the gears are working every step we take. The most important thing is do not bend this handle because once it's damaged, it's hard to repair. We test the gears every step we go. If it doesn't, if it doesn't run smoothly, don't force it. Just give it a gentle nudge. I'm going to put it aside to dry. I'll assemble the inside box first. All these two pieces for the inside box. Attach the two pieces together. Align them properly. Apply glue here and seal the two ends together. We should be able to close the bottom by tucking all the tabs. Look like this. The bottom is secure now, but if you're not so sure, you can always glue them together. Now, back, back to this piece. Grab the three big lollipops we made earlier. And see those marks? We're gonna match the pop with a circle mark. Start with the middle one. And the second one. You can match the circle here and match the circle here. Because the spacers we put on earlier, so the two side lollipop should be higher than the middle lollipop.
and line a circle score line to position all the lollipops. So they should look like this. I'm going. I'm not going to touch that until the glue is dry. We'll pull it aside for now. So while waiting the glue is dry, we can continue to cut the number three files. Upload the number three candy shop SVG file into the design space. This file is pretty straightforward. We just need to change the score lines. Right click, ungroup. Click one item, change the top layer to score. Click again and attach together. Same to the rest. And this piece is for the roof. Score and attach. Last one. Top layer change to score line. Click again and attach. Click make it to continue. I'll see if I can squeeze this one into page two. I'm going to try to squeeze this one to page two. I'll move this object to page three. Here you are, set one page. Click continue to cut. Set out the material and I'm going to use scoring wheel. So I'll just upload my material and cut. We have five pieces cut off from the last file, Candy House. And we just need to sort out the order. We are going to glue those four pieces together. We're going to fold the folding lines first. Have a look at this. This is a this is a mark for the window. And same as this side, they are for position the window, so we don't need to fold this bit. This one is a roof piece for the bottom first. How we fold the top here? Fold this one. Fold this one down. This half, this semicircle will be where the handle is, and there's another semicircle at the back. So we fold this line backward. And for this semicircle, we're going to tuck this semicircle in and coming throughout here. I'll show you again. It's like this. Fold this rectangle and tuck in the semicircle in coming out from here. So glue those two rectangles together. This piece is down, same as this one. Fold this piece, fold this piece. Now we have for all the pieces, we're going to pull them together. So this one is the bottom, this is the top. And the side and we have another piece here this piece go to the back where there's a hole this piece this piece will attach to this one we just need to fold this one first as well see there are some straight lines they are for position the decorative panel later we don't need to fold all the line we just need to fold this one this one and this one We fold this roof piece, we'll leave it aside for now. We'll glue those four pieces together. Alrighty, 
Now they are one big piece, but because the screw type connect lens are very small, so they are, the piece is still very delicate. I'm going to take this away. What we are going to do is the big extension sheet window from file number one. This ST sheet will go here. I'm going to fold the ST sheet first. They are folding lines, so I'm going to. Flip the whole piece gently to the back. And we will fold the ST sheet on like this. And I'm going to grab a pencil to mark where the ST sheet ends. Now you can see there's a pencil mark for where the ST sheet ends. You can use glue or glue guns, whatever method you feel the best. I found glue gun is not as forgiving and it dry very really quickly. And I like to take my time, so therefore I choose to use, two, I choose to use double side tape to glue the ST sheet. So I'm going to put double side tape to where the glue mark ends. Alrighty, get the Attached piece again. I prefer to glue the middle part first. So put it down. Put the middle. Align the middle part gently, and so put the attached down gently. Make sure you don't cover any folding line. Okay, the middle is done. Now we are going to press to the side. Press to the side. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it looks all right. Okay, now with the excess sheet to secure, the whole piece is much stronger. Flip over, we are going to glue on the two windows. It is easier to glue on all the accessory when it's lying flat because later on when we assemble the whole house, it might be hard to glue those accessories on. So glue those two little cute windows on. Okay, all the lollipops and candy can we made earlier. We're going to put them around here. So you can arrange however you like. And then glue them on. So you can arrange it however you like. Just remember when you, if you, if the lollipop, if you're going to glue over those two folding lines, make sure the glue is only on one side. Make sure you don't have glue over the folding lines because we're going to bend the box later. Now all the lollipops and candy canes are attached. Next we are going to attach the decorative panels for the roof. So those two pieces go like this. Put it aside for now. Get the last roof piece and two of these decorative panels. You can see there are little cuts on the top. They are going to matching the hole here for the folding lines first. We'll glue the top bit first. Don't glue the bottom bit yet because we're going to fold it later. Use the score lines to guide it. We're going to attach this to the main candy shop piece. This is a candy shop one. Go here to here. Okay. 
If it's a good price, we have the whole piece of candy shop. Flip it over to the inside and get this piece. Remember we had early on we attach double side tape, but we haven't peeled off the backing. So this look this glue tab here gonna to align the edge of the SA sheet here. So here will align here and the bottom line will align here. So it will look like I'm gonna show you on the other side. So from here, see that here those two lines align and then attach here like this. So I'm going to just attach the bottom and the side first. I'm going to leave the I won't attach the top yet. So what we are going to do is make sure the handle is on this on the left hand side of it. Then attach like this. I'm going to peel the backing of the double side tape here, just the here and here. Now we are going to align here. Align the bottom first. Make sure you're not covering any folding line. And then attach, align the edge here. Give it a good press. Give it a good press from the other side. So next will be the front here. I'm going to bend this back. I'm going to bend the top back with a bit so for it to get out of the way. Peel off the backing for the double side tape. Turn it slowly. Align it to the bottom line here. Align the bottom line here, not covering the, not covering the folding line. Put your hands through underneath to give it a great press from inside. All right, last bit. Peel off the backing here and here. Same this line, this line here. Gonna to align here. So I'm gonna turn this over and we'll see from the other side. So we will align those two lines. I'm gonna hopefully show you here. Align those, are you able to see? Align those two lines together and also align the bottom lines here. It might be easier to go from here. Align the bottom first, yeah. Align the bottom here first. See from here. Align those two lines together first. I'm gonna bend this backward. Align those two lines first. Give it a good press. And then we are going to align the bottom. So the front should look like this. Gently to give it a good press from different direction to secure those double side tabs. So you can see the line align well. Same on this side. You can seal the top at the same time, but I like to leave it a little bit of room just in case something goes wrong so I could always fix it from the top. Now, what I'm going to do is The handle here, and we'll put handle through the hole here, and seal here. Apply glue here. This bit is a bit tricky because we can't line it's flat to dry, so we just have to hold it. Just use our hand to hold it till the glue is dry. This piece is the first, and then tuck those two pieces in. And the last bit, tuck this in as well. So the bottom is down. The one with a square hole in the middle. This will go attached to the end of the hand, the tube. This will go attached to the end of the tube. So it will be the 
lever handle for the whole thing. So we're going to seal the two ends. Give it a good press. Be very careful not to bend the tube as well because it's very small and when you try to handle it, don't squeeze too hard. Otherwise, you'll be like the last one to handle it. I accidentally squeeze the tube. Now we still got the top, we haven't sealed it. So I'm going to peel off all the backing of the double side tab. Oh, okay, it's been tricky to peel it now. <laughs> Didn't sink this far. Anyway, I'm going to peel it from here. We're going to tuck the front, the top of the box in. Tuck it into the front. It's sticky because of double side tape. Now just tuck it in and then press from three side. So tuck it in here, tuck it in the front like this. And we're going to glue the two little bits here. We're going to attach the last piece on. Put one hand inside the box to hold the tube from inside. And then the tube should go into the square hole. What we are going to do is we're going to put glue on three sides, here, here, and here. And make sure the side of the glue go this side and this side. So they will have a contact attached together. Attach. Hold it. We're gonna hold it till the glue is dry. Now the glue is dry. We're gonna see if it works. So we turn on the back. The handle at the back is down. The last step is to put in the gift box in. So we can see from the top, the handle is here. Without the box, if you put tree inside, all the tree, all the tree, all the sweet, uh, we're gonna affect how the handle works. So with with the box, we can separate the handle and the tree. Tucking all the tabs. That's it, we have done it. We have built this candy shop together. What an amazing project. Hope you have fun. Thank you for watching.